Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about the importance of screening your friend circle and also making sure that the people that you're around are quality. I've said this before, if you do not screen the people that you have in your life and make sure that there is quality, it will come to bite you in the butt. And what I mean by this is that I have seen people associate themselves with pieces of crap and when they do, it is unsurprising when those qualities of those pieces of crap start creeping into their own personal life. So for example, let's say you have a person in your life who prioritizes themselves above all else, which is not a bad thing, but despite you being kind and nice to them, they kind of treat you like a second class citizen. You know, the kind of person that sends off the signal, let's say you traveled a couple hours to see them and then they tell you that you're their lowest priority. A person like this, I don't care how amazing they look or you know how far back you go with them, let's say you've known them since second grade or so, you should not keep a person like that in your life. I find that sometimes when people say that they're lonely, sometimes it could just be because they're not a social butterfly or they could be guarded, but another thing could be that they treat their friends like crap. And I want to give you another example over here. So I had the situation where someone once invited me to hang out with them. You know, they said, hey, Let's go out to have dinner. I was supposed to meet up with them at, I think it was something like 7 o'clock. And this person messaged me at 6 p.m. And I didn't see the message. What happened was is that they told me, they said, Oh, hey, sorry, I can't hang out with you. I hope you're not on your way. I messaged you. I have a friend that I was supposed to meet up at 4 and now they're showing up. And I was kind of confused because I thought, wait a second, you were meeting up with a friend but then showing up three hours late and you want to cancel with me because your friend is showing up three hours late? And they tell me that this friend is that kind of person that stays on, quote, Hawaii time. And they were trying to tell me that it was fine for them to cancel the invitation that they gave me because their friend was quote on Hawaii time and I broke it down for them and I told them I said wait wait you invited me I'm showing up on time and you are pushing me aside for a person who shows up three hours late they don't even have the decency to tell you in advance there's something wrong with that you know this kind of situation when I brought it up I remember this person being uncomfortable and this person was hostile towards me because they were making it sound like I was the one causing the problems, not them, not their friend, not their not their crappy friend, but it was me. And it had such a lasting impression on me because I thought to myself, I have treated this person with nothing but kindness, respect, I've been there for them, and for them to treat me in this manner, I can't tolerate it. So, as a result of that, I distance myself from them, and I encourage you guys to do that same kind of behavior. It really is such a slap in the face, for example. If you are supporting a person, you are there for a person, and then they, they prioritize a complete piece of crap over you. It's one of those situations where you have to delve deeper to see what's happening. Now, the backstory behind this person is this person has historically always had piece of crap friends. And they have some good friends, don't get me wrong, but there were a lot of problematic people in their life and I wanted them to separate themselves from those people. However, I wasn't able to do that and this person continued to prioritize exploitative people in their life. I don't know if it's because they had more charisma than me, I don't know, they were more popular than me, who knows, but I thought it was such a shame. This person, I don't know how their friend circle is now. But I would venture to say that if they did not change their ways, they have people in their life who use them. People who are disrespectful to them and they tolerate it and they continue that cycle by being pieces of crap to their good friends. So is it any wonder if down the line it comes out that they feel all alone or and they feel like their friends aren't really there? Yeah, I don't think it would be surprising at all. I would really suggest that you don't keep a clown friend like that because that person cannot make good judgments. That person cannot make a good decision. And it's very troubling. 
So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that this little video was useful. Keep yourself in check. Keep your friend circle in check. And remember, if anybody treats you like the lowest priority, you gotta ask, why? And don't be so quick to blame yourself because from the people that I know who treat other like people like crap, typically their life is crap. And it continues the cycle. That's all I want to say. You guys take care. And as always, don't be a clown. See ya.